So the way WYSIWYG's pricing model works, you pay more for more features. There's three different levels of membership. Uh, the basic level just gives you access to drawing tools, which is really useful if you just want to use WYSIWYG for, uh, for drawing up lighting plans and doing your paperwork. Uh, the middle uh, subscription gives you access to the design mode, which allows you to turn lights on and off using their inbuilt control system. And you can make renderings and make it look very pretty and sell a concept. And their full perform license allows you to run a full visualization that connects to a lighting desk. Uh, I'm going to talk you through all five of these in the next five lessons. We're going to start with the CAD mode. CAD mode is, is just a very nice tool for doing really quick drawings. Uh, it can has, have access to the library of moving lights and, um, and truss and scaffolding tools so you can quickly draw up a, uh, an effective looking uh, lighting plan using inbuilt tools so you don't have to worry about building with your custom symbols like you do in CAD for instance. So we're going to go through uh, all the different features of CAD uh, later, but this initial um, lesson is just explaining what CAD mode is as a, um, a subscription level. Okay, so for the next uh, few lessons, next five lessons, 9 to 13, I'm going to be covering these five features up here. Uh, and these are modes. So I was going to give a brief explanation of what this is and why we have it, um, because it does complicate things having all of these different modes. Um, but it's to do with the way that you license WYSIWYG. So if you've only bought a report license, which uh, you know, is a good, good idea if you just want to do some CAD work and some, some documentation, uh, you will only have access to CAD and data. You won't see these three options. So that's a part of WYSIWYG that's locked off to you. If you pay for the design dongle, you'll also get design. If you pay for the full perform dongle, as I've got here, you'll have presentation and live as well. In fact, for presentation you will also have uh, in the report view. Um, so that, that one always appears at CAD data. Now the difference is that CAD is where you draw things, data is where you can modify um, parameters and, and the information to do with fixtures or uh, uh, some of the movement controls. Design is a place where you can create the uh, looks of the show but without a lighting desk. So it's a way of uh, using a virtual uh, console that's built into WYSIWYG to, to, to position lights to make pretty images. So that, that's kind of useful if you're interested in creating concept images or, or maybe uh, marketing material. Presentation is how we create uh, physical paper products from all this. So we can have uh, plans, documents, reports, and there's some quite handy uh, uh, tools in there that will create some quite clever reports based on the information in the document. And live is where we do the actual simulation. So that's the bit where you know, we connect a lighting desk up and we can see a full visualization of our lighting and scenery. And they look very similar. Um, Design, Live and CAD all look identical, but some of the tools are different up here. It would just, you know, you won't, might notice it at first, but there's some tools missing in these and there's some new ones to replace them. So this gets quite complicated because when you're in Live, if I click to it now, you see it looks very similar. Um, you can't edit objects in here. It doesn't even matter if they're turned on the layers. You just can't edit them because this is where you look at the visualized output. Uh, whereas in CAD, you can edit things, but you can't see what the lighting desk is doing. So it's a bit annoying because you have to keep jumping between the two. Uh, I have a solution to that, which I'll, I'll come to uh, much later on when we get to um, uh, actually simulating some lighting. So this lesson is really just about the CAD mode at the moment. And obviously we've had a nice little walk around and we've seen some of it. I'm going to start by deleting what I've created here because we're going to start again. Oh, and I've got my editable layers on, so I'll turn those off. Okay, so we're going to try drawing something in CAD and we're going to have a whole chapter doing this in detail just so you can see uh, what you do in CAD mode. We'll try adding a, a circle, so just like the one is deleted. Um, we're going to put a pipe in the middle of it. Okay, now I've just clicked through that dialog box really quickly just to create a rough pipe. I'm not really happy with that, it's too big. So what I'm going to do, I'm delete it and just do another one, make it a bit smaller. Now you see I had the option here of changing the length and the trim height. I should have done that. I should have changed that to say 3 metres and make it 2 metres high. Uh, and I'm not going to give it a name yet. I'll show you that later. And there we go, we've got a pipe, um, which is 2 metres high. Now if I go into the quad mode, we can see our circle in that mode. And if I hang a light, so I'm going to take my back viper symbol from here, I can hang it on the truss. Gives me a little message telling me what is uh, what works, what doesn't work in this in this 
particular fixture. It's going to be Frost and Focus, not simulated. Animation was not simulated. Um, we use Mac, Mac Vipers quite a lot, so I'm confused designers a lot when they can't do that. There you go. And it's turned on automatically because I've got it selected. So if I right click, finish placing fixtures. There we go. And so we're going to go through this all in detail later. So we can, uh, this is just a little overview. I just want to just let you know what CAD mode is for. So now we've created that, we can start to edit the light. Uh, we can do it by click, selecting it. And in a blank area, somewhere over here, right click and go to properties. And we had the, the layer tab. We can assign it to a layer if we want to. I'm going to leave it on main. We go to fixture. And here is all the options that we can change to make it, uh, make it work. So in control, we can set the patch. We can give it channel and dim information. We can uh, tweak the, uh, you know, the pan and tilt inverts, or we can change the, uh, the offset of the pan and tilt if it's not behaving quite right on stage. Color wheels, gather wheels, prisms, uh, options you can set if you want to make it an 8 bit or 16 bit if it has that option. Um, so, all sorts of things you get on a real light. We're going to go through this in detail later. I just want to give you an overview at this point. This is the, just so you understand the user interface. Um, what else do I need to tell you about the CAD mode? Um, I think I think we've kind of covered it already quite a lot when we've gone through the user interface. Um, we're going to go through all these drawing tools and how to put lights in and, and change them. There's two there's two whole chapters there, one on drawing and one on lights. So I don't want to go into any more detail on that at the moment. Um, but it's just important that you understand the difference between CAD mode, design mode, and live. And you see in here, this is where we can edit lights, place them or fix you know place them on pipes and things and. Uh, and build all our all our scenery. So that is CAD mode.